My name is Jamie Chapman. From the moment it begins, you can tell this is not your average student project. It tells the story of Jamie Chapman, a young man with a promising future who made the fateful decision to drink and drive. Travis High School senior Marissa Emiliani heard Jamie speak one day and was moved. This is a real person. This is someone who played soccer. He had a bunch of friends and everything, and his life completely changed just from that one decision, and I think that really hit home with me. You need to put more space. She had the passion to share his story, but lacked the technical expertise. So she approached schoolmate Denise Nelson. Filmmaking is just, if you have a vision to do something and you see it, you just want to make it happen and you don't want to do it right. So armed with a consumer grade camera, some desktop editing software and talent and passion to spare, they made the documentary called simply Jamie. In it, Jamie and his mother tell the story of how he got drunk, wrecked his car and suffered brain trauma. They both talk about the impact it had on their lives. It is heart-wrenching to watch. AV teacher Vince Beck says he advised them on the project, but the work was all theirs. This is unparalleled. I mean, this is really pretty exceptional work. It, I mean, it's gifted, I would say. You know, it's humbling to be around it, honestly. It was one of eight works chosen in the Texas Thespian competition to go on to the Nationals. They've entered it in a bunch of competitions and are waiting to hear back. It's picked up thousands and thousands of views along the way. They wanted to have an effect on others, but it's changed them too. Not only will I not uh, make that choice for myself, but I'll make sure that the people around me don't have that um, the opportunity to do that. Jamie is really the biggest thing about this whole thing is his story, his life. It really touches anyone who sees this. And like seasoned professional movie makers, they know how to leave the viewers with one last emotional gut punch. Just don't be like me.